If you're anything like me, you've not only got a million fandoms, but are actively looking for new things to get into. While there's so much material being released on all fronts, it's easy to miss something that may be right up your alley. Hence, In Case You Missed It, where we explore works that may have just slipped under the radar and some shifts in fandoms that may be really cool to get into, or you just may have missed and they're already active. This is Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy, and it's time to check out Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart, In Case You Missed It. Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart, or La Mécanique du Coeur, was a 2013 French film translated into English, Spanish, Finnish, and German in 2014, and it's a truly interesting piece of work. The film serves as a sort of visual for the concept album of the same name by the band Dionysus. Forgive my pronunciation. Without giving too much away, the story is about the titular Jack. Born on the coldest night on Earth, his heart is frozen solid and is replaced with a functioning yet flimsy cuckoo clock heart. All will be well as long as Jack can follow three rules. Never touch the hands of your heart, keep your temper under control, and the most important rule of all, never ever fall in love. So why is this worth checking out? Well, for one thing, the music is amazing. All the music for the film was composed by the band's lead singer, Matthias Malzieu, and the visuals that accompany it are stunning. The animation is beautifully bizarre, with large heads and big eyes, with many minute details that speak to a loving rendition. It is also quite surreal at points, which makes it a fascinating sit for adults and those interested in symbolism and not strictly realistic storytelling. Another reason? Well, this is Shipper's Guide, so perhaps you're looking for a new ship to get into. I mean, in case you don't already have enough, am I right? The love story in this movie is intensely fairy tale esque especially so given the ages of the protagonists, and yet it is fascinatingly beautiful, passionate yet chaste, with some adult winks here and there. It's a sit that kids will enjoy but not fully understand since large chunks of it are much more directed towards a more mature adult audience. It's an exciting adventure with some bizarre twists, surprise historical figure cameos, and interesting music. I went from watching the film to listening to the album and checking out some art from the book, cause yes, the lead singer also put out an illustrated novel, La Mécanique du Coeur. It's always cool to see works that are tied together across multiple mediums deliberately, and not just as part of a marketing ploy, but rather for creative purpose or just passion. If any of this sounds like it's for you, then maybe take some time and check out Jack and the Cuckoo Clock Heart, just in case you missed it. If you didn't, what did you think of it and which song was your favorite? Or were you just not a fan at all? All opinions down below as always. Thanks so much for watching Shipper's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out social media to stay up to date and stay tuned for there are as many ships out there as there are stars in the sky.